Welcome to the tutorial about sorting arrays in JavaScript. I'll show you how we sort them and it, it is a very common used pattern um, used in many programming languages and it's yeah very good to know this because often you work with arrays right and sometimes you get them nicely ordered but maybe you just want to sort it the other way or you get them in a total mess and you want to sort them out so we'll start off with a simple example right uh, oh maybe we <laughs> don't want it yeah sorted right away so we want to sort this array and what we do like in the map filter reduce function if you know those or checked out my other videos we start off by creating a result variable and we pass array and scroll down and we will see that uh, we have a sort function here sort method right so this method is on you can use it on all arrays right and it will return a brand new array so this will equal to a new array it won't sort this one right it won't modify your uh, original array so result result will keep uh, a new array and it will be sorted i hope we will see we will print out the result see if it works it works good if we check here to the right um, we'll take another example see if it works as well we take some other numbers right we take 1 10 100 7, 80, 77, 800, 9, 90. Okay, check this mess. What's the difference between numbers and numbers, right? But what this method does, out of the box, without passing parameters, it will convert each element to a string and then compare the strings in alphabetical order, you can say in a UTF standard. I won't dive deeper into it, but you can expect this works when your elements are strings. So let's try and figure this out, how we sort numbers, and then we will dig a little bit deeper and working with a real world example, right? When we have a big list with objects, right? Okay, so how do we sort this? To be able to sort something else than strings, we need to write the logic. We need to pass a function where we tell this sort method which element is higher than the other or greater than the other. So we, we will create a compare function called, uh, let's say, compare numbers, okay? And we pass this function we don't execute it we just pass the number so no brackets here at the end so so what sort method will do it will take our function execute it with a and b with two uh, it will pass us two uh, parameters so we need to catch them right uh, and what is A and B? What is this? You can call it whatever you want, like first, next, or second, or I don't know. We call it A and B, right? So the first time, this will be A, and 10 will be B. And the next time, 10 will be A, and 100 will be B, and so on. It will iterate over the whole array. So we have access to each uh, element and now we need to say which one is higher a or b how do we know that well um, we compare them right but before we dig deeper i forgot to tell you that this method needs to return either one minus one or zero nothing else really <laughs> this is important it needs to return the number one, the number minus one, or the number zero, okay? And one means that, yeah, let's say A is greater than B, 
minus 1 means that b is greater than a, and 0 means both a and b are equal. Um, so let's implement this. So we use this with some if statements. So if element a is greater than b, we return 1. We can tell else if b is greater than a, and we return minus 1. And else, then, if it's not this and not this, then they should be equal, right? So we return 0. So now we have written the logic and told, teaching this method, which one is higher, because it doesn't know. It, it has the strings, right? If it does it itself, but now we get them as the real numbers passed. Uh, so let's check out the result to the right, and it looks good. And now maybe we expect it to be the other way, right? 800 first and then 100 and so on, reversed order. We can do that in two ways. The first way would be that we switch the 1 to minus 1 and minus 1 to 1. So instead, yeah, we're saying if A is... Yeah, you get it. We reverse the logic here and telling that... It's the way around, right? The, the other step, if I revert this, is all arrays in JavaScript. So this, this is a new array, right? Uh, has a built-in method called reverse, okay? So look to the right. Now we got, got 800 first. If I remove this one, it's like before. So we can reverse it, it returns a brand new array even now, so we can keep chaining, keep filtering, keep mapping, keep reversing again. It will switch it around. So reverse, it's simple, it doesn't expect anything, right? So you, it just switches uh, the ordering. But now, this isn't really fun to sort numbers, right? This is, a, uh, this is not a real use case. So I'll remove this one and change the array here, right? So I want the real use case to be that we will serve a list of hotels to, let's say, a website. So imagine they are displayed in a kind of list view or table view, um, and the user should be able to sort them depending on which column they press right so each um, hotel has a name i'll call this let's say starfish they have uh, a rating right so 3.7 and they have um, distance to beach we can say 400 and the price so we can say 80 bucks per night I create a, a few of them, right? Next one is Blue Lagoon. Whoa, Lagoon. Lagoon. Uh, some better rating. A little bit closer to the beach. And a little bit more expensive. And the last one, uh, let's take four just to have more examples. The next one is like Hotel del Sol. And it is a family type very good price near the beach literally on the beach a little bit more expensive there and the last one is called urban hotel it's in the city it has very okay normal rating and super expensive right 700 per night okay and imagine this list is obviously longer right um Yeah, so let's shoot. What do we want to sort by? We can sort by rating, okay? We can say that we will sort by rating. So we will implement, create this sorting function again. We call it by rating. And we will pass this function here. And if you remember, we get A and B. 
And now, first time, this object is A, and B is this object. And now we cannot just tell if A is bigger than B, I mean, if this object is greater than this object. So this won't work and absolutely not work out of the box like this. So is it uh, so much more complicated? No, it's actually almost the same as we did before. So I'll, we, what we need to compare now, so we cannot compare A and B. We need to compare A dot rating. So if A dot rating is greater than B dot rating. I hope it makes sense to you. So if A dot rating, it is this value is greater than b dot rating so we don't check the other ones now it's only the rating we want to sort by right so if that is greater then we return one just as before else if if it's oh if it's the other way around b dot rating is greater than a dot rating then we return a minus one instead and actually, I don't remember which order it will be. We just switch them if we expect the other one or reverse the array. Else, then, if a dot rating is equal to b dot rating, then we enter this block, right? And then we return zero. We tell it it's the same. So let's check out the result to the right. I'll expand the list. And we sorted by rating, so let's check the rating. 3.7, 4, 4.1, 4.4. So it looks good, but maybe we wanted it the other way around, right? Uh, so I'll switch them around. Or we type reverse here. And I'll just show you quick that it works. So now we should get the highest rating first. So 4.4, 4.1, 4, and 3.7. And now it's just <laughs> copy paste, right? So do we want to be able to sort by uh, price? Then we check a dot price. I'll copy paste this quickly. And we can type by price instead. And now we'll see the result here. So now we are, we are sorting with this function instead. So, yep, 700, 110, 90, and 80. So usually when we display a table like this, we need to implement all sorting. If we want to be able to sort on name, rating, distance, and price, then we should have four sorting uh, uh, functions. So when the client tells us, the website tells us, hey, I want to sort by price, then we should sort by this function. So usually we have an if, uh, if statement or switch case statement, uh, like if uh, user input equals to, uh, whoa, like this, price, then we execute this, right? If it's by then, we execute another one. So. Um, it's simple, right? I hope you all understand that I've made this clear for you. So as long as the array is not normal strings, we need to jump in and tell this sort method who's bigger than who. And we have access to both. And you see this pattern should work on mostly everything. But as you see, we we tell it when to return 1, minus 1, and 0. So we can do some more checks. Like if we come into the else, maybe it's not the case to just return 0. Then we might look on some other parameter, right, on the object and say maybe this one should be a little bit higher, anyways, because it has some more stars or uh, something else. So. I'll type this here as well, so remember sort and reverse. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.